My name is Mike, and today I'm going to show you how I turn this empty back porch into the perfect spot for this outdoor sectional couch. So sit back, relax, sip a coffee, and follow along today on Tall Guy DIY. For this project, I used pressure treated 2x4s that I picked up at my local Home Depot. I began by measuring out and marking all the cuts I needed to make with my tape measure. You can holster that bad boy for now. I used my speed square to ensure I was marking out straight lines. I developed a cut list from my design. I will have a link to this down below in the description. Before you cut, adjust your skill saw to make sure the depth of the saw is passing through the hole of your material. Always remove the battery prior to adjustments. It's important to plan out your cuts in the interest of not creating any excess waste. This helps your wallet, and more importantly, the environment. I used 8 foot boards, so my shortcuts were all measured out to deliberately use as much of the boards as possible. Once I had made all my cuts, I began laying out the outside arm panels. These will serve as the main attachment piece for the seat framing. I did a preliminary layout to ensure my cuts were square and there wouldn't be any excessive gaps in the joints. I marked all the locations of screws that I planned to use at all the joints. Then I used the number six countersink bit to pre-drill all these same locations. This is often seen as an excessive step, but I did it to ensure I would be driving all the screws in the right spots and driving them square through the joint. I recruited some help to drive the screws into the outside arm panels, as it was easier to hold the other pieces and ensure that they were kept square as the screws were being driven. Next, I assembled the seat framing. I was able to do this on my own. Pre-drilling all the screw locations made this possible. I used three inch deck screws at all the joints. Having an impact driver made this process so much easier. After that, I was able to connect the seat framing pieces to the outside arm panels. I had some help to ensure the piece was stabilized upright as the screws were driven. I then installed the front facing footings on the opposite end of the outside arm panels. I used two pieces to make this footing structurally sound and make sure it wouldn't bend or shift under weight and movement of the couch. I brought the couch sections up to where they would be positioned. Then I did a rough field measurement on the angle I wanted the backrest to sit, along with the length of this piece. The angle would be cut at the bottom of the leg and at the top. This is so that the couch remains flat on the ground and the long stretcher can span across to connect at the other end. with the same angles will be needed at this connection. Pre-cut pieces were used as the planks running laterally across the seat framing. Spaced an inch and a half apart, these will hold the cushions. All these planks needed to be screwed in place after pre-positioning them. To fill in all exposed pre-drilled holes, I used 3 8 inch dowels with wood glue. Then I used a flush saw to remove the excess. Then we were on to sanding. Luckily, my buddy stuck around to help. We went over both sections with 80 grit and 120 grit sandpaper on the orbital sander. I applied one coat of Olympic Water Guard wood stain to both sections of the couch, as they'll be outside of my back porch.
Unfortunately, the cushions were the most expensive part of this project, but sometimes it pays to be comfortable. There you go, a perfect fit for any porch or patio. The dimensions are customizable to any size. A super easy build, and it only took three tools. It's a great spot to enjoy some sunshine while you're reading, working from home in quarantine, or hanging out with friends when this is all over. Thanks for following along with my build today. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Consider subscribing if you want to see more projects like this one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at tallguide.diy. Until next time, I'm Mike, your go-to tall guy DIYer.